my mom encouraged me to pick James because that was her dad's name. So James. As you know, there's what, James the Greater and James the Lesser. I can't remember which one I picked, but I should know that. But it's James anyway, so one of them or both of them, two of the apostles. My favorite saint? I don't know. I, mean, I guess you have to say the Blessed Mother, but um, Saint, the, saint the Curie of Ars or Saint John Vianney, he's the patron saint of all priests. So, of course, his life is also very interesting. Saint Don Bosco, he did lots of youth ministry stuff. I think he's also a very interesting saint. Um, the two really smart saints. St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas, so they're interesting to read or get their ongoing insights from. Yeah, I, you know, it's something to St. Vincent de Paul sitting on the wall there. Did you know he was captured by pirates once as a priest? So it's kind of interesting to be like pirate stories. Um, yeah. You know, I'd say too, speaking of the Blessed Mother, she's on the wall over there, uh, which is good. Um, yeah, I wear the, I start wearing, kind of even, I think, part of my vocational calling, wearing the miraculous medal and the scapular. Um, when I was in college, and with the Marian prayer group, Knights of Immaculata, which is based on St. Maximilian Colby, he was the Franciscan priest that was killed in the concentration camp by the Nazis. Anyway, wearing the miraculous medal, and also starting to wear the scapular, praying the rosary. So I do think that the Marian devotion thing was definitely a factor in my vocational calling. Probably even part of my growing up and maturing, taking my relationship of the church seriously. Yeah. Did you know that when you were Did I know that I liked it? Um, I think similar to earlier. I mean, right. Some days are better than others, yeah. But I did think that part of a calling of seminarians or even religious sisters that yeah, that you have some sense of peace and joy about being there. Uh, so yeah, again, everybody has difficult days, but at the same time, right, if you're completely miserable all the time, well, then it's probably not your calling. So, but yeah, so no, I enjoy it. Yeah, there's a good peace of mind. Yeah. <laughs> How much gel do I put in my hair? Um, two little squirts. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being a priest? My favorite thing about being a priest, well, of course, spending time with seven years. Right. Um, but after that, um, I'd say, you know, celebrating the Mass and hearing confessions, I suppose those are probably the more confession in the sense that not all the time is it exciting, those necessarily, but there's times when you know that you're clearly helping somebody when they're struggling or when they've got their sins to be taken off their soul as a priest to know that you're there for them to help them concretely and specifically with that sacrament. And then if you give them some good advice or there are times where you feel like you're able to give them some advice and they, I mean, not the Holy Spirit working, but to know that you've helped somebody in the confessional is very rewarding. Um, I mean, in celebrating Mass, to know that we're bringing people the Blessed Sacrament, we're bringing people to Jesus in the Eucharist, yeah, you know, similarly, there's times where you feel like your homilies are connecting with people, and of course that's rewarding. I mean, you don't always know <laughs> for sure if people are getting that or if you're saying it right, but sometimes you feel like, okay, this is working. Um, so those are rewarding times. Yeah. Favorite color? Favorite color? Um, black, of course. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really have a favorite color, really. Uh, I like a variety of things. I've gone through phases. I think when I was your age, maybe I really liked the color maroon. Um, so anyway, anybody else? Are we out of time? How much time do you have now? 14 minutes. All right. Why don't we wrap up, start that?